Welcome back, everybody. Hearing loss doesn't have to just to be just a normal part of aging. There are things that can be done that can have some life-changing effects. And joining us in the studio this morning is Dr. J.J. Miller, and I'm trying to practice this, an otolaryngologist. Correct. Did I get it right? Perfect. Okay. With Perfect. Arkansas Otolaryngology. Yes, ma'am. Very good. Well, thanks for having us. Thank thanks you. for being here. And describe the typical hearing loss for a patient. Um, the most common type of hearing loss is hearing loss of the elderly called mm -hmm. presbycusis and it usually is a, a slow um, growing hearing loss that starts earlier usually in the 40s or 50s and uh, pretty much goes undetected until patients become aware of it later on when the folks around them are saying uh, you don't seem to be paying attention mm -hmm. as well or maybe they've noticed that the volume on their TV the number has gone up higher right but the main symptoms are they just don't hear as well and it's symmetric so it's not something they're gonna wake up and notice uh, a acutely or abruptly. So sometimes that can happen between 40 and 50. Uh, it can begin then, yeah. but it usually doesn't become very noticeable until you start to lose hearing loss in the range of normal conversation. Okay. Talk about some of the treatment options for those people. With that particular type of hearing loss, since it's sensory neural hearing loss, meaning there's nerve damage, mm -hmm. There's not a lot of treatment options from a medical or a surgical standpoint. The real uh, mainstay of treatment is going to be um, hearing aids um, uh, used to anywhere from mild to severe hearing loss. And then if you get all the way up to profound deafness, you can talk about cochlear implants. Okay. And these can make a profound difference? Uh, a huge difference. Yeah. A huge difference. And in the past, we would probably uh, shy away from fitting someone with hearing aids if they were in the mild to moderate loss because the hearing aids are they're expensive and they were kind of uncomfortable to wear but mm -hmm. as the technology has increased and gotten better we're fitting more and more folks at uh, at lower thresholds of hearing loss because yeah. they do make such a big difference. They're amazing and so small. Sometimes you can't even see them. Almost uh, imperceptible. People. Does insurance cover part of that cost? Um, historically, no. Um, typically, the only uh, type of insurance that would cover uh, a hearing aid would be if someone were involved in a, an accident at work or um, an automobile accident where that type of insurance would cover. Mm -hmm. However, um, with the aging population, more and more of the uh, of the patients that have supplemental insurance to their Medicare, those typically do cover a portion of the hearing aids, not mm -hmm. necessarily the entire hearing aid, but a portion of that. Very good. So you need to check in with that. Definitely with need to check in carrier. with your insurance and see if they provide that, because if they do, that's a service that you need to take yeah, advantage of. Sure. And then talk about just what you hear from the patients as far as what how this changes their life. Um, there's no doubt that for every patient that gets fitted with a hearing aid, it's going to make an improvement. I think the most important important thing is they need to have um, good expectations about what uh, the hearing aids are going to do. A hearing aid is not going to return your hearing to normal in a similar fashion. Uh, if you go see a, a, a physician for your eyeglasses, mm -hmm. you're going to have 20-20 vision when you walk out. With hearing aids, it's not going to be that. You're not going to hear as well as you did when you were 10 or 12 years old, but it is going to make a profound improvement. And the analogy I use, it's like dentures. Mm -hmm. It definitely is better than not having any teeth, right. but it's not as good as the regular teeth, and it's the same thing. Same the hearing thing. aids will definitely improve things, but not make it perfect. Okay, we're going to put the information on your screen, and I guess people just need to call and sort of come in for a consultation absolutely the this. way our clinic is set up you can call and come in and get a hearing evaluation you don't have to see a physician and they can do a hearing test and if if discussing that with the audiologist a hearing aid is something you would like to pursue then we can have you see a physician and um, get signed off on that in Arkansas in particular if you uh, have a physician prescription for a hearing aid you don't have to pay sales tax on the hearing okay. aid. Very good to know. Well, uh, thank you so much for coming in, You're Dr. More J. Than J. Welcome. Miller. And I know that they can help a lot of people. If you keep saying, do you hear me, honey? Maybe they need to go have it checked out. Absolutely. Right? Okay, thanks so much. That